The Coup of Nothing by J. W. Accent. I sat on my bed at the dying of the day. Whilst I began turning, I heard a cooing, as if an owl were hooting beside me, and yet nothing. Like a bolt I shot, brooding, enchanting. Shush! So that I may rid myself of this sickness so foreboding, and still lay the sound of nothing. I could not sleep, so again began pacing, wearing down the old familiar carpet path with my tracing, and back again came that incessant cuckooing. Silence, O foul sound! or it's hell that I will give thee. But still, I saw nothing. I felt the sickness coursing through me, a darkness that I could never escape. Yet I knew my body was fighting the sickness way too late. Coo! You blasted cur who comes to me at such late hours asinine, and uttering such a damning word. Still there was nothing. How foul a feeling, and how foul a curse, but to hear this coo, coo seemed by far so much worse. It was a mockery, louder than the groaning which grew inside of me. Yet what was it inside of me? moving and causing me such pain. I must have caught something wafting about in the air, but whatever it was seemed insane. Coo, coo, the sound returned, and I howled. Leave me be! Who is it? What is it but the coo of nothing? The sound was inane. Get away from my house door. I am sick, and I need your coos no more. But still it refused to go, and chilled me to the core, reminding me only of my past chore, the chore of which I took the dead and stole from their graves. Remembering my plight, I remembered that coo, a coo, of the happily perched owl above my crew. We dug for jewels, we dug for parts, and still none of them appeased such farce. The atrocity wasn't the digging of graves, but my curiosity so insane. I wanted to know the taste of human flesh. Neither the rotten food nor the coo coo would let me rest. I looked out my window, peering into darkness and a nearby tree. That very same owl cooing, hooting at me. My sickness enraged at me. The dead inside was enraged at me. I fell coughing, and then nothing. Why? I thought I heard myself, and then nothing. <laughs>